Hello everyone, welcome to this Let's Play of The Curse of Monkey Island. This is one of your top picks for Total Request July 2018. This comes after we played the original Monkey Island a couple years ago for also Total Request July. Let's enjoy, uh, let's enjoy a bit of the intro here. That's right, the monkeys are listening. <laughs> Ah, LucasArts. Classic mid-90s LucasArts entertainment. Nothing like it. Some of my favorite games of all time. So pretty too for the time. So colorful. I like the graphics they used. A scum engine or whatever it was. Deep in the Caribbean. Monkey Island. Whoop. South the coast of Monkey Island. A ship. Well, that'd be a grandiose term. <laughs> it's like a cable car that got dislodged. Captain's log. Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and <laughs> unless I find water soon. I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. Well, my quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Yeah. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. Uh, oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles uh, and miles. Monkey spring water. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy <laughs> and help me get my strength back. Mm, maybe some bananas. <laughs> oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. <laughs> oh. Chicken's like, I don't think he saw me. Oh, my sweet Elaine. Am I cursed to starve here on this ocean without seeing your face just one more time? Am I... Huh? Oh. There you go. Curse of Monkey Island. I believe many... And there's all the things we just saw floating by. I believe this uh, is a lot of folks. Dominic Otto as guy. Would. Many people's favorite entry into the uh, the Monkey Island. Not sure if it's a trilogy. If this was the last one, but the Monkey Island series. Many people's choice for favorite. Let's enjoy the credits here for a bit before we get into it in earnest. See what uh, dire state Guybrush has drifted into this time. Love that Caribbean steel pan music. Great game to play in the summertime. Thank you very much, everyone, for requesting it during uh, Total Request July. Thank you for all your requests, all your voting. It's been a good time so far. Been doing some Cuphead, of course, Curse of Monkey Island, and uh, we've got Day of the Tentacle going on, and Goonies 2 coming up as well. To round things out. All solid choices. I'm just glad Super Ghouls and Ghosts didn't make the cut. The game drives me crazy. Ron Gilbert. That's the intro theme. Story design. Project Edward. Jonathan Agrid. Baby. Alright, here we go. Hmm. <laughs> 
way. How many times do I have to tell you, LeChuck? I just <laughs> don't feel that way about you. Take a hint. <laughs> By my congealed blood, you learn to love me. Ooh. Sail with me, and I'll make you queen of the dead. <laughs> no. I, I can't. I'm washing my hair tonight. <laughs> Classic excuse. Heard that one before. I was an undead ship captain. Nope. Can't you see this <laughs> salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? <laughs> Take a hint, Chuck. You know, I don't think my father would approve of me dating the undead. Racist. And you're probably too nice a zombie pirate for me anyway. <laughs> That's a better excuse. Let's just be friends instead. There you go. Go see a movie. <laughs> Let's face it, LeChuck. Breathy You're an shy. evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. <laughs> Darn you, it's... riddles, you saucy female. <laughs> what like do you a skeleton mean? first mate. Oh, there goes his head. Oh. <laughs> You're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved. Guybrush. Guybrush Threepwood. We're right here. <laughs> Aw, how romantic. Aw. Ship ahoy! Ship. Again, grandiose. Threepwood! Oh. Oh. Fish him out. Aw. Guybrush? <laughs> Guy brush three wood by my gangrenous gut. I don't know how you escaped my carnival of the damned, but you won't escape the taste of my blade. Mm. Ah! Nice. Oh, the lass has spirit. Throw him in the hole, and I'll finish him after the battle. <laughs> Turn loose the long boats. <laughs> And prepare the flaming voodoo Ooh. cannonball. Well, he's that for special occasions. Part one: the demise of the zombie pirate LeChuck. Like that <laughs> freaked out three wood there at the bottom. Ah! Hey, who are you? Hello. I've got to get out of Wally? here. Wally. I seem to recall his name being Wally. If I could only get through this one door. And well, I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. <laughs> Quit your mumbling, captive! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you down here? Hello, small pirate. Blast ye scurvy dogs! What have I got? Helium balloons. Good, still got those. This'll make you rue that it's day! It's like the full throttle interface. I've never seen a cuter pirate. Aww. Talk to him. Whoa. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. I'm Who are you? Threepwood. Who are you? I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose. What? The wickedest fiend ever to sail under the banner of King Death. Huh. I'd as soon chew your nose off as look at you. Whoa. You sound pretty tough. Oh, I'm so tough. In junior high, I stuffed Davy Jones in his locker. Wow. Well, I stuffed all the monkeys in their respective lockers. Is that a that real, a real eye patch? Aye, <laughs> sure it be real. I... Why are you wearing a monocle underneath it? <laughs> it keeps the dust out of me eye socket. Uh -oh. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? You're a little Wally. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. Aw. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with the Ship of the Living Dead? Well, Mr. Well. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to the Chuck seminar, like a nervous tick bringing out the and audio books on Parrot, wow. I've become a vicious corsair. You can too. Uh -huh. Ask me how. Is the only literature? <laughs> Here. Here we go. This leaflet explains the basic philosophy I follow. There you go. 
tell me about these seminars? <laughs> the seminars really brought things into focus. You don't know how empowering it is to wow. be able to say to yourself, yes, I am a despicable, filthy, villainous pirate is that deserving good? blame and censure, but that pirate is who I want to be. Okay. Everyone was really very supportive. <laughs> we had this great feeling of synergy. Then LeChuck kicked down the door and said, You lazy scum, get back to work or I'll beat you <laughs> with your own legs. All right, then. I'm not in the mood for sales hype. You're a failure as a You're pirate. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow bellied blowfish. One more peep out of you, and I'll do you in. Uh, you're bluffing. Try it, shrimpy. Try it, shrimpy. Yes, scabra swab. One more word, and I'll let you have it. Yeah, you and what navy? That's it. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh. <laughs> oh, Wally. Oh, I can't do it. No. Oh. Just. Can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. Oh. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even. I'm not even unpleasant. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, there we go. Oh, take it both hands. Wally. Oh, well, I'll take that. What else can I grab? The ramrod. We load up a cannonball. They're too heavy to carry. Right, let's just fire that then. He'll be fine, everybody. Let's see here. Boom! Too far. Too short. <laughs> Getting a little close there, pal. Watch where you're shooting. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Oops. That was me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Are you sorry you all? Uh, sorry about that. Oops. Oops. Really, it's my it's my first time. Oop. I'm getting pretty good at this. Sort of things out. <laughs> While wow, he's still blubbering. Ooh, gross. All the bones and stuff are floating towards the ship. <laughs> gross. <laughs> Maybe I can... I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. Probably grab some of these, though. Well... I can't reach that far. Alright, hold on. <laughs> well, okay. Wait. This time. <laughs> Combine I that. I have two good hands. With that there we go. If I could just get my hands on that gunner. Get the talking skull. Do it. There you go. How oh, handy. Maybe I could sell Ah crap. That didn't work. Let's get the gaff. Boom. All right. We got an arm now. We got a cutlass. All right. Not bad. Probably use that sword. Jimmy this open? No. I think Sean O'Connor has that. If anyone's checking out, that's a nod to anyone watching me. Uh, watching me as I switch to pirate vernacular. Watching me Hero You Let's Play here on this channel. Here we go. That doesn't need cutting. The restraint rope. This will do it. Cold steel, people cannon restraint rope. <laughs> Very descriptive. All right. Let's try using the cannon. 
Now, with the demon oh, flames of this voodoo cannonball, I can that door. I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world. <laughs> <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, he's still crying. Oh, God. Neptune's navel. That was a close one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Guy brush. Hey, I lost my cutlass when the ship capsized. Damn. All right. Flotation device. There we go. No self-respecting pirate would be seen wearing that. But it's so cute. With all the treasure everywhere. I see more than enough of him already. Music box. It got broken when the ship capsized. Yeah. How about some chocolates? Yeah, that's only see Elaine. Disgusting. Even for a pirate. Right. Champagne? No, champagne makes me all giggly. You're picky, Guybrush. Need some tunes. Every pirate likes some broken. tunes. It's impossible to find a quadraphonic needle anywhere in the Caribbean. All right. What else we got? Uh, it's bad luck to grab booty under a ladder. Oh. What will you pick up about the wreath? I don't know. That seems kind of creepy. Hmm. Unused comb. I think LeChuck needs it more than I do. All appliances. Just make sure we... I have no place to plug him in. Teddy bear. The bear's too big to carry around, and the sword's a fake plastic one. Ladder. Really unclean. Uh, it's bad luck to grab booty under a ladder. Uh, it's bad luck to grab booty under a ladder. We go up the ladder? No? Hmm. I just. Is there a bag somewhere? Ah, uh, here we go. It's a bag of wooden nickels. Some you take treasure. that. Hey, that all looks like there's treasure. There's a big diamond ring behind this oh. bag. Give that to Elaine when the mood is right. I'd have no place to plug him in. Is there anything else I haven't checked yet? Don't think so. All right, not seeing anything else. Well, I can't climb my way up there. Can you open the porthole. That's not the kind that opens. Hmm. Hey, I can see the ocean floor. And there's a really angry looking skull floating around out there. <laughs> Alright, maybe. Alright, if we can fill this up with water, maybe we can float our way up to the top. What have I still got? Skeleton arm. I can't use the skeleton. Worth a shot. That doesn't take wood. Wait a minute. Ring. Diamond ring? Diamond cuts. There we go. About that. Oh my god. Guybrush died that day. <laughs> There's the float. <laughs> be Barry Manilow for some reason. And Roger Wilco. Guy somewhere brush? between the two. Elaine! Guybrush! I Did thought I'd lost you forever. Is it really you? Yes, Elaine. <laughs> um, did you really mean what you said out there? That I was the only man you ever loved? Uh, well, yes, Guybrush, I guess I did. Elaine, hmm. I'm a man of action. A swashbuckler, <laughs> a rogue, God, a wanderer, a man who can hold his breath for ten minutes. <laughs> I have no ties and no regrets. I uh. sail with the wind and go where adventure takes me. But somehow something always Guy brush, me. Guybrush, stop babbling. <laughs> Elaine... <laughs> Will you marry me? There you go. Oh, it's huge. Brush. Oh, Wally, you're alive. Oh. But how Hi, did Wally. you survive the explosion? Oh, I was thrown clear. <laughs> I'm just lucky I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Wow, Elaine, wearing. that's some ring. Thank you, Wally. 
It's an engagement ring from Guybrush. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his oh. treasure hold. You know, the one with that ghastly, disfiguring voodoo curse on it? Uh -oh. Well, I'm sure Guybrush wouldn't have given you that ring. Anyway, i got to be going. I hear there's a tattoo removal <laughs> place on this island that's <laughs> freckle safe. See you at the wedding. <laughs> Guybrush! <laughs> uh. We've all been there. Oh. Crap. There's the curse. Part two, the curse gets worse. I'd say we break these up by part, but oh no, it's only been twenty minutes. She's not gonna be happy about this. <sighs> she must weigh a ton. <laughs> uh, no, no offense. <laughs> hey, there's hey, that chicken. How many carrots? She? No, no, bad idea. Feral chicken. Hello, feral chicken. Mm, no. Do I still have that poking thing? No. She's the healing balloons to get up to the chicken. I don't think she'd like that. No. Yo. Yo. Oh, that's nice. Can I get the ring? No. Glowing ember. Ouch. But you did take it. There you go. All right, so we can maybe use that to stoke a fire later. Another feral chicken. Hi. Hi. Bog. <laughs> it looks dangerous. Examine the feral chicken. <laughs> Very dangerous. Whoa. I think so. Okay. Oh, can I like? Is there a way to save? It might be a something to figure out. Here we go. Let's get my save going. Guy. All right. Where does this lead me? Uh, let's see. So many places to explore. All right, so she's back at the fort. Uh, I guess this is a bovine skull. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, no. Okay. Boom. Boom. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I am Murray. Oh, Murray. Invincible demonic skull. Yeah. I bring you warning from the infernal realms. Do not go farther into the swamp. Turn back. Turn back. Darkness will envelop you. <laughs> it's like a typewriter. Typewriter. How did you get up there? All the way up there. Through sheer force of will. <laughs> uh huh. All right, there was a bunch of those weird voodoo kids. <laughs> they found me on shore and put me on top of this spike all the time thinking they were so funny. It's kind of funny. Do you need me to help yeah, you out? Yeah, I can help you out. Help! I need no help from you foolish mortals. I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. Okay, just uh -huh. thought I'd ask. Don't get me wrong, I do appreciate the offer. That's nice. What are you yeah. doing up there? I think he's just existing. I am standing as a testament. Standing? <laughs> Hanging as a testament <laughs> to the power of the forces of evil that will one day claim victory over the entire earth. How long are you going to keep doing that? <laughs> as long as it takes. Must get pretty dull up there, I suppose. Never! The powers of darkness are never dull. We will one day prove that... Mm -hmm. Oh, who am I trying to fool? I'm bored out of my skull. <laughs> Figuratively speaking, of course. You seem restless. Oh, I don't know. It's just that not many people. Do you know anything just about trying to figure curses? out what the click through oh, right. I know system a lot about is. Curses. That's why I'm a disembodied talking skull sitting on top of a spike in the middle of a swamp. You seem bitter. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's been a rough day. <laughs> I'd love to stay in chat, but uh, I gotta go. Nah, we're, he had one more thing he could say. I think he wants to be alone okay, right now. Okay, fine. Well, I'm gonna go farther, despite his warnings. See you, Murray. Oh, it looks like it was thrown here by a typhoon. 15% gum? Admiral Sweetums bit o jerky bubblegum. Five cents. Five cents? Didn't I get a bag of nickels? Ah... There you go. Ooh, a pin. What adventurer couldn't use a pin? Huh? What a relief. 
<laughs> That's fantastic. That's one of my favorite one-off jokes. <laughs> I don't need it. It's just a toy. What a relief. <laughs> toy scissors. I don't want those dull little scissors. Fine. Let's get some gum. Got a whole bag of these things. Wow, I got a whole pack of gum. So easily excitable. Pin. What if I put it back in? I'm sure it won't do anything. After all, it's just a paper voodoo doll. Ooh, migraine! <laughs> Do I still have it? Okay. What if I just keep doing it? Ooh! Migraine! <laughs> okay. Alright. What's going on with this alligator? It's a big stuffed alligator with an unusually long tongue. Hello. It's stuffed. Uh -huh. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Who are you and how did you disappear Who like that? Are you? How did you just appear like that? I am one gifted with a second sight, adept at manipulating the forces of nature for the benefit of all who enter my door. You're a fashion consultant. Well, yes, but that's not what I was referring to. I am a voodoo priestess. You don't say. Whoa. Neat. <laughs> Neat. You're an autumn, by the way. <laughs> Don't I know you from somewhere? <laughs> we have known each other for a very long time, Guybrush Threepwood. You've been through much, so it is understandable that you have forgotten me. We met on Melee Island when you were first trying to become a pirate. Wow, a long on time a ago. Are we going to do one of those flashback things? <laughs> they always make me nauseous. No, yes. I'll make this quick. I twice helped you defeat the evil pirate LeChuck, first by preparing the voodoo antiwoo. Classic. I'm starting to remember. And then again by helping you prepare a voodoo doll of his zombie form. That's right. I still don't know your name. Boy, have I got some stories to tell you. You've helped so much and I still don't know your name. I am known by many names on many different islands. But names have little importance. You should know this more than anyone, Guybrush Threepwood. Yes, you're right. Hey, are you making fun of me? I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> Boy, have I got some stories to tell you. Stories? Y yes, well, I'm sensing a great disturbance. <laughs> I have to, I have to go. But I've got to tell you about LeChuck yeah. and Elaine. I'm going to disappear now in a big flash of light uh. over your eyes. No, 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 wait. It started back on Dinky Island. I knew LeChuck was close. I'll be disappearing here <laughs> any moment. Okay, okay, no stories. Nice place. I love what you've done with it. Thank hey, you. Hey, automatically did that. Excuse the mess. The kids came over to play with their paper voodoo dolls. They're adorable children. Would you like to see some pictures? Uh... <laughs> no. No, please, no. For the love of all that is good and holy, no. I can't think of anything I would hate more. <laughs> kind of like that. Perhaps later. Perhaps later. Yes, there's no time for that now. Yeah, Elaine's that golden. terrible has happened. Hey, you're good. Something terrible has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. <laughs> Congratulations. That doesn't sound so terrible. And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Oh, that uh, explains yeah. it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. I was talking about Elaine. Well, no, there's no time to worry about that now. We have to hurry. Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. Mm -hmm. You only have to worry about her being stolen. <laughs> Where did you hide? Hide. <laughs> I can't, uh, I can't tell you. It's too secret. In the middle of an very open well. beach. But I am very much relieved to hear that she is safe and. Uh, I just remembered something I've got to do. Okay. Uh, see you around. You didn't hide her. <laughs> Go, Guybrush. Hurry before you're too late. Something tells me she's gonna be gone when we get back. Yep. Elaine. <sighs> 
damn it. It's gonna be on Antique Roadshow before I, uh, I gotta hurry. This is Looks like I'm gonna need some more help. <laughs> yeah, I screwed up. Someone stole a lane. I tried moving her earlier. It will be difficult to get her back. Do you know who kidnapped her? Not for certain, but I suspect that it's the mangy pirates anchored in Danger Cove. What makes him so Can you mangy. Give me something to lift the curse? No, LeChuck's curse is a very powerful one. Fueled by his anger and his intense frustration <laughs> in dealing. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I should stop skipping stuff. Where am I gonna find a huge uncursed diamond ring? So we gotta find Legends a huge uncursed diamond ring, I guess, to reverse the golden curse. On Blood Island. Blood reverse Island. the curse. I've never heard of it. Blood Island. Soon become quite familiar with it. Oh great. But you must be careful, Guybrush. I have foreseen that your journey will be filled with peril and deception. I have also seen that Blood Island will be the place where I what? Where you will die. Oh my gosh. I thought she was just gonna kinda you know, hint to it. As in die. me, dead? Did did you say die? As in me, dead. Don't be such a baby. <laughs> Isn't there a less dangerous way? No. The value of the ring on Blood Island oh, comes wow. from its emotional significance. What's the point in saving Elaine if I'm gonna be dead? A pure, true love. A power greater than any other. Oh, that's sweet. I I think I have something in my eye. <laughs> Do not mock the voodoo priestess. <laughs> hmm. Blood yeah, Island come on with dangerous. me. You have can to you, come with me. Can you stand? I cannot. I have lived on three different islands in the past six years. So? I do not wish to travel uh. anymore. Besides, this derelict is still an escrow. <laughs> well... <laughs> but who will explain away gaping <laughs> plot holes? You've got to come. You're my only hope. No, Guybrush. There is another. Well, how will I find the ring on Blood Island? All I can say is that I see a long and painful history connected with that ring. And I feel a great sadness. Hmm. Well, yeah, how do where, I get, how do we get there? You will need three things. Okay. Ship. A map to Blood Island, for the okay, journey map. is a long and dangerous one. Sure. A seaworthy ship to take you there. Okay. And an experienced crew. Crew? That's exciting. I'm going to have a crew. Got it. Blood Island, here I come. <sighs> what are you working on? I know what voodoo spell you're working on. Voodoo spell? Oh, this. This is just a fondue I'm <laughs> making for tonight. What do you Would keep you throwing like into it? Does it have any skink toes in it? You a few. Skink to a few. No pass. <laughs> Safe hair replacement systems. I want to know more <laughs> about safe hair replacement systems. I can imagine. Didn't you have a beard the last time I saw you? <laughs> I sure did. A really cool one. <laughs> I wonder what happened to it. <laughs> a diet I, I want to know more about a diet I can live with. I'll share with you knowledge passed from mother to daughter in my family for generations. Okay. What's that? Low fat, high fiber. It works. Skink toes. All right. Thanks anyway, for your help. Gotta go. we gotta go. See you. All right. Well, I guess we're heading out. I'm not really sure why he warned me. That was a lovely exchange I had with the uh, priestess. I think he wants to be alone right Fine. now. Fine. All right. Where to? Lemonade stand. Oh, that's nice. Hello, little pirate. Very enterprising of you. Hello there, Sonny. You open yet? Oh boy, oh boy! My first customer. Gee Willikers, is this gonna be swell? Hi, my name's Kenny. Kenny Foulmouth. Foulmouth. It sure would be neat if you would buy some of my lemonade. It only costs a nickel. But if I say no, he curses all, me out. I have a bottomless mug policy. Oh. That does sound like a good deal. I like. Well, is, is it lemonade good? good? You, should, you should always ask oh, that first. Gosh, yes. It's a very healthful drink. Even better for you than placing leeches on your tongue. Wow. Wow. 
What's the lemonade good for? Drinking? It's a dandy tonic for scurvy. That's It'll true. cure all your symptoms, including, but not limited to, gradual weakening, <laughs> aching muscles, sunken eyes. Sunken pain, eyes. Had that one before. Skin, loss of teeth, uh. internal bleeding, oh the reopening God. of old wounds, diarrhea. Need to consult with my failure, pirate pain, doctor first. And death. <laughs> death. Will it cure evil Will the lemonade cases? save my life after I die? Saving the lane? That'd be a nice little uh, twist. I'd like to buy some lemonade. Sure, we have a bottomless mug policy, you know. Uh -huh. That'll be a nickel. There you go. Go. Hey, there's no bottom to this mug. <laughs> Give me my money back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did tell you about our bottomless, bottomless mug policy. <laughs> and there are no refunds. <laughs> Why, oh. you little. Thank you. Come again. You little jerk. I want, I my, money want back. my money back. Why? Was the lemonade bad? I don't know. I didn't drink any. <laughs> well, if you're not dissatisfied with our product, I can't justify giving you a refund. That's pretty I'm funny. I'm sorry, but it's company policy. But, but. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye. You little jerk. Give me that mug. Hey, that mug's for paying. I just paid only. you. I can't drink from that mug because there's a big hole in the bottom. Give me some more <laughs> lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. Did I just do it again? Son of a bitch. This isn't very refreshing. <laughs> I guess you forgot about our bottomless mug policy. I guess Thank I you. did. I guess I did. How many nickels I still have? You little twerp. Is there a difference between which way I go? The Barbary Coast. Barbary Coast. Welcome, Gentlemen. Patron, to the Barbary Coast. Where every haircut is an adventure. Hey, and if you're wanting a haircut, you'll have to wait until I'm okay. finished with Captain, Captain Rottingham. Rottingham. Here. Are you guys pirate barbers? It looks tough. We prefer the term buccaneer hairstylist. <laughs> Great. Maybe you guys can help me find this huge diamond ring I'm looking Care for. Care to be my crew? Diamond ring? Yeah, it's supposedly enormous, and it's on Blood Island. Blood Island? Blood Island. Never heard of it. <laughs> it's a funny story, really. <laughs> I needed to lift this curse. It's turned my girlfriend into a solid gold statue. Solid gold. Solid gold. <laughs> Wait a second. Did I just share too much? <laughs> Ooh. Huh. So much to explore. Grassy knoll. Log pile. What else we got over here? It's an informative plaque put up by the Plunder Island Naturalist Society. That's Caribbean nice. rubber tree. One of the many rubber trees common throughout the Caribbean used as raw material for shipbuilding. There you go. The theater. Long John Silver Center for the Performing Arts. <laughs> it's pretty good. I guess that's this place. It's a banner, say. The Long John Silver Center for the Performing Arts presents Spear. Spear. It's locked. Son of a bitch. Mirror. The pirate couldn't mm, use it. No. A lot of mirrors. I wonder if there's a part in this play for a dashing rogue pirate. Magic hat? I don't want to disturb the mystic powers of the hat. Why not? But a pirate coat. Looks too big for me. Every pirate could use one. It'd be a nice coat if it weren't for that dandruff. Ew. Dandruff. Uh. If I could. Ew. Did I just get I hate dandruff? I think less of this guy just because of a slight problem with. <laughs> hey, this isn't dandruff. Huh? 
Oh. Ew, I have lice. On oh my god, I'm gonna have that the whole game now. Gross. Alright. Interesting. The glove to be had. Still can't take Looks the coat? Too big for me. Alright. Blood Island sticker. Nice. It's stuck to the trunk. Okay. Fake sword. Have I still got that real sword? No. That pin doesn't look like it's to scale. Wig, maybe? No, I like the natural look. Alright. It looks too heavy for me to carry. It's an old travel trunk. It's covered with stickers from many faraway places. I don't need a prop. It won't talk back. Donkey head. I never know what I can pick up in this game. I don't want to look like a jackass. <laughs> I don't want to look like a jackass. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. So knock it off. <laughs> It smells like something's burning. Must be this shoddy 17th century electrical wiring. Wait a second. Somebody's been monkeying around with these controls. I'll need to read the instructions before they'll work. To swab or not to swab? <laughs> There's a wand on the desk. How did I miss that? Watch me make this disappear. <laughs> nice. Uh, can I... Nothing up my sleeve? Wow. Presto! Well, it just hey, appeared it there. There's something inside. The instructions for the lights? What is that? It's a book about ventriloquism. Huh. I don't want to throw my voice there. Interesting. All right. Hey! It's a sticker from Blood Island. It says, Blood Island is for bleeders. A message from the Blood Island Tourism Council. Hey, maybe the performer who owns this trunk knows how to get to Blood Island. There you go. I'll need to read the instructions before they'll work. Mm. <laughs> he doesn't seem I'll to be too to bothered by it. Before they'll work. I don't remember. Is the water ballet before or after my mad scene? Hideous pirate. door. name would still reek. Hello. Let's look at the hideous pirate. See what they that say. Is just disturbing. Next, I so how'd you get roped into doing this show? I'm a spokesmodel, actually. <laughs> but what I really want to do is act. People just don't take you seriously when you're a spokesmodel. Guess that's how true. Surprising. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> Break a peg leg. Thanks. Break a peg leg. And then I smash the watermelon. Buddy. Buddy. Yeah, is that your... <laughs> What's that pewter stench you're What's rehearsing? What's that pewter and stench-ridden <laughs> drivel that you're rehearsing? But this, this is the master work of the bard. Do you really think it's that bad? Do pirates drink grog? Oh, I knew I shouldn't have altered <laughs> the material. <laughs> How could I have taken up my wretched pen and stabbed it bodkin-like through the unsullied poetry of the master? You rewrote Shakespeare? I was <laughs> compelled to. Not a single person was coming to any of my performances. Hmm. Oh, these stupid this is the marketing pirates. issue. Not men enough to confront their own sensitive inner nature. Can't quit through some of so this stuff. I rewrote the whole folio, contracted the brilliance of decades into a 45-minute review. 
spear. A spear. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what's Have up with uh, Blood Island? Island? But of course. Blood Island was once the place to be if you were an artist in the Caribbean. Those were the days. We were young and wild, pushing the limits of our craft. Oh, what risky, daring performances we gave. We weren't afraid to shock or offend the stodgy, mainstream sensibilities of our audiences. Oh, what did you perform? Dinner theater, mostly. Could you tell me how I can find Blood Island? My agent, Palido Domingo, always do Domingo. arrangements. He would know how to get there. Where is Mr. Any Domingo? Where I could find him? He's a member of the Brimstone Beach Club here on Plunder Island. Okay. You might catch him there. Carry on. Carry on. What fools these Don't think I want to do in the show. Alright, what else we got around here? Door, door, door. Let's make sure we finish up with all these, uh... So hopefully they don't kick my Hi ass there. for details I about this gold statue. Of course you are. Okay then, who are you? <laughs> Edward Van Helgen. Not the. That's huh? right. Huh? Mine is the name that pirates fear the most. Edward Snugglecakes <laughs> Van Helgen. Dude. <laughs> Dude, I'm such a fan. <sighs> Yo, join my crew. Join my ever-growing pirate. You could be the your first. Your crew. Why would I want to be on your crew? It's gonna be a blast. We're going to Blood, Blood Island. Blood Island. Sorry, as much as I'd love to be out at sea again, I could never serve a captain who wasn't a gentleman and mm. who wasn't my equal. Guess that's true. I've starred in two games, though. I'm at least two times. I'm at least two times your equal. Then prove it. If you can defeat me gentleman's, in a gentleman's duel, duel All right. I'll join your crew. All right, let's get to dueling. No, no, no. There are rules. If you want to duel with me, you have to give me sufficient uh. insults. Mm, okay. That's a nice shirt. <laughs> Maybe it's a trick. I insult you? Why can't we just Why get can't along? we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Are you sure you don't want to join my crew? I told you. Not unless you give me sufficient mm, insults and work anymore. Meet me in a duo. Did I mention you're a big old bedwetting duty head? Big old bedwetting duty, duty head. But I'm still not impressed. Nice cologne you're wearing. Maybe I need to pick Did up a better insult from somewhere head? else. Just dab a little behind each ear. That's not the type of insult. How appropriate. You fight, fight like, like a, cow. a cow. That's an old one. Come. Hey, that's a nice shirt. <laughs> How long have you been colorblind? Oh, oh please. <sighs> I don't want to insult you. Why can't we just get along? Oh, well. I bet you, you have, have a ton, ton of cool pirate, pirate stories. stories. No, I couldn't. Oh, come on. I'd really like to hear some of... The year was 1675. <laughs> we were on Didn't a take much persuading, did he? Of the rattling phlegm. Our days were filled with songs of the voyage and the untold riches we'd find at our destination. Two months into our journey, we realized something Didn't bring any grog. horribly wrong. <laughs> Were you haunted by the spiteful ghost of a former captain? <laughs> no. A restless spirit would have been a welcome relief Ooh. compared to the eve. Got my attention. Faced. We were all stricken with a melody. A what? diabolical song that I shall never forget. La 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 Hey, that's kind of catchy. I, oh no. All too catchy for a crew of 50 men confined to a ship <laughs> hundreds of miles from port. No one sang it constantly. Else, and many <laughs> threw themselves into the sea rather than hear any more of the incessant humming. La, 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 we returned, la, la, la. but eight of our crew left. Wow. The doomed voyage of the Obsessivo Compulsivo <laughs> will haunt me forever. <laughs> hmm. Are you sure you don't want to join my crew? I told you. Not to and he's going to say, I don't have anything to say to you. So it gives me all those options again. You went from pirating to hairstyling. Why? Why? The music of the sea is something that takes hold of your soul and never lets go. But the life yeah. of a sailor is a rough one. Great story. Uh, I'll have to hear the rest some other time. Well, 
how did you find other music loving barber pirates? By starting a barber shop quartet, obviously. Yeah. Uh, obviously, but there are only three of you. Auditions didn't go as well as we'd hoped. <laughs> we once had a tenor named Dominique, but he left. Artistic differences. Hmm. Oh, my feet are killing me. What was that? Huh? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, my mind is <laughs> wandering. Please go on. Well, we spent so much time coming up with a clever name for the shop, we realized we were going to have to give up singing and actually become barbers. But I still like to think that we're not just cutting hair. That maybe, just maybe, we're teaching people a little bit about themselves. Are you truly happy with this line of work? I may return to the sea one day. But for now, I'm happy helping pirates look their very best. At least until we find a fourth for our barbershop quartet. Hmm. I could be the fourth for your barbershop quartet. <laughs> uh, no, no, uh, that's okay. I was wrong. <laughs> we don't, we don't need one after all. After all. He's so oh, polite. Come on, I've really got away with a ballad. All right, then. Let's hear what you've got. What should you do with a... There's a monkey in my pocket. A popular children's song. I've got a friend in the ocean, a popular pirate shanty. Plunder on my mind. Wooden leg, restless heart. Do <laughs> the commercial jingle. For those cold dark shipboard nights, we've got boxers, briefs, and tights. Made from cotton, silk, or satin. In styles Anglo, Dutch, and Latin. When you sail, don't take a chance Wearing nothing neath your pants Trust <laughs> Silver's long johns They breathe Oh my dear sweet merciful savior in heaven Pretty good, huh? You must take an oath now Before man and God That you will never ever again <laughs> sing in public So Damn. what are you telling me exactly? Alright You try wanna hear any of their songs? No! Oh, please, please. The spirit of music is in me. <laughs> All right. But this is the last time. I feel like it's not. Let's hear that ballad. I'm hooked on you, baby. <laughs> but the seas keep us apart. And there ain't no eye patch big enough to cover up my broken heart. It does not sound like a ballad. Great sainted jumping monkeys. <laughs> what do you think, huh? That was even more atonal than last time. <laughs> oh, God. Whoa, all right, time. we can do that all day. What is that? Keep looking at that. Jawbreaker. Nice. What's, what's your deal, salty pirate? Ahoy there. I'm Guybrush Threefwood, mighty pirate. So? So it's good to meet you, Mr. Bill. Bill? That's your pirate name, Bill? <laughs> Cutthroat Bill. Ooh. Oh, I see. Well, that <laughs> puts a whole new spin on it, doesn't it? Pirate stories. Pirate any? stories. Okay. Got any? Here's a story. I kill you I for asking questions. I on the raging tightwad. Puerto Pollo. Puerto Pollo. The captain was a master treasure hunter. A diviner from some ancient secret society. He had some weird fifth sense when it came to finding objects of value. I is this going to be scary? Because I warn you, I've been known to leap into the arms of total strangers when startled. I have a razor. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Please go on. We left port without a map, guided only by the captain's keen senses. We spent the first week going around in circles until we realized the crew's gold earrings were throwing the captain <laughs> off. After we tossed all our jewelry, gold coins, and belt buckles overboard, we got back on course. It's a great story. <laughs> How long is the story, story anyway? <laughs> long enough. Shut your home. <laughs> we'll do. We sailed for two years, and it finally started back to Plunder Island. But just as we started to doubt him, he made off. We found sunken treasure right off the coast. Wait a second. Was it an enormous pile of jewelry and gold coins and belt buckles at the bottom of the bay? Exactly. How did you know that? <laughs> I just had a feeling. <laughs> anyway. It's all right. been a pleasure. Bye. Why did they lose so much blood when they're cutting hair? <laughs> like, 
That's a lot of blood on that uh, apron. Jar of combs. Hands off those combs. Those are ours. All right. Fine. Can I be next? Ahoy there! I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pie. Quiet. Red. Huh? huh? Don't distract him while he's working on me. Aye, laddie. You'll have to wait your turn. It's the pirate we. That's fair. Fire! Run for your life! I'm sure the authorities probably have the situation under control. <laughs> but just in case, Babel. More moisturizer. <laughs> Rabbit dogs are on the loose. Get out now! <laughs> I don't hear anything. There are no rabbit dogs on the loose. That's just what they want you to think. <laughs> There's an axe wielding maniac at the door. Flee! <laughs> Perhaps you should offer yourself as a sacrifice so the rest of us may be saved. <laughs> the calls are coming from within the barber shop. <laughs> you must get out immediately. I have no idea what you're talking about. Leave us alone. Hmm. So he puts down that comb every now and then. Busy. I'll come back this reminds me of something from Space Quest for Ooh the Lice. There we go. <laughs> Holy infestation! You've been struck with the hair demons! <laughs> what are you talking about? The cursed head vermin! The scourge of every hygienic sailor on the seven seas! <laughs> That's a lie! Sure as I'm standing here, they're wriggling about your scalp like a pack of wretched sea lions. Good <laughs> analogy. This calls for drastic action. I'm bringing in old iron sides. No, no, let's not be too rash. Rash? That's a bad sign. There's no time to lose. I'm going to have to amputate. <laughs> no, no, you'll ruin my hair! Oh! <laughs> that looks like the chair is open. Can you, uh, get a new mm, comb? No. Ahoy there! I'm Guybrush Threepwood, here to serve all your mighty pirate needs. Pleasure to meet you, Guybrush. I am Haggis McMutton of the Clan McMutton. I sure could use a haircut. Have a seat, laddie, and I'll do you up with a fine quaff. Quaff? So. How would join you my like crew. to join my crew? You seem like a nice enough sort, Guybrush. But a man cannot serve as mm. my captain unless he earns me respect. And how would a man go about doing that? By besting me in a time-honored test of strength. Hmm. What would impress him? Yes. I go ten minutes. Holds his breath the longest. No, I'm talking about the traditional Highland display of strength and virility, the caber toss. Sounds great. Let's do it. Perhaps after I finish with your hair. Hmm. Haggis. That's an unusual name. I suppose it is. But Haggis is just a nickname. A given name is heart, liver, and kidneys boiled in the stomach of the animal McMutton. Oh, so your parents were expecting a girl. Yay. Those sure are nice scissors. Aye, they're my best pair. They can cut through almost anything. Why are they in the ceiling? Sometimes I cut hair so fast, the scissors fly from my hands at unbelievable speeds. Could I uh, borrow those scissors for a minute? I feel like you Sorry. want those scissors. They're much too valuable to me. You know they can cut through almost anything. Yes, I believe you mentioned that. Hmm. Good to know. When I think of all I could do with those scissors. <laughs> Aye. The scissors are just that good. Hmm. Did I mention how nice those scissors are? You did, and it's all true. They're the best <laughs> pair I've ever owned. And they can cut through anything. Hmm. Please let me borrow those scissors. Sorry, but no. Hmm. Never mind. So, ooh, wait. Handle? Interesting. It looks like he's stabbing me in the mouth right now. He's losing his page. Ugh, blast that ineffectual paperweight. <laughs> I'll have to go find another. But well, what about my haircut? 
Keep your skirt on, lad. All right, how high does this go? There you go. Oh, God. Seems dangerous. There you go. There you go, Guybrush. And I couldn't have found a single possible? lot of paper to eat. I suppose I'll just have to eyeball your haircut. I just remembered I have another appointment. Oh, I was going to give you a <laughs> French braid, too. All right. Well, it's been an hour. So in the next episode, we will work on getting that map. Hopefully, these guys will join up as my crew if I can impress them in their own individual ways. And we'll get a ship. That seems kind of important, too, in that uh, the priestess mentioned that. So I'll see you for episode two of this Curse of Monkey Island Let's Play right here on Let's Play with Brigands. Hope to see you then.